Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I had a ball. If you guys have been following my Instagram, I've just had a really good time with my family. We all went out last night for our post-Thanksgiving party, which is also my cousin's birthday. We had a really good time. Went clubbing. Just, you know, we turned up. So I hope you guys have had a really good time with your friends and family as well during these, you know, holiday seasons. So anyways, if you guys don't know, I went on Instagram Live the other day, and a lot of you guys were requesting that I talk about Summer Walker. Now, I've been watching all this Summer Walker stuff play out, but I haven't done any videos on her. Because I've been trying to give this young girl the benefit of the doubt. You know, she's 23 years old. She's a young woman. And I felt like, you know, at times the internet was bullying her. Like when she came out and said that she didn't like showers. And she really didn't like to shower like that. And people were like, oh, she's dirty. She's disgusting. And I mean, even if she doesn't want to shower, at the end of the day, that's her coochin' ass. That ain't got shit to do with me. If Summer Walker don't want to wash her ass, that has nothing to do with me whatsoever. That's between her, the dude she smashed, and whoever wants to deal with that smell, okay? But she's since come out to say that. That it's not that she does not shower she just doesn't like physically taking showers you know what i'm saying she likes baths instead here goes her ranting about that go ahead and check this out oh no i have one more thing to say before we get into the toronto uh situation i'm just gonna i'm gonna just put it all out there i wash my motherfucking ass okay i wash my pussy hole i wash my asshole i wash my everything i brush my teeth i fucking wash my hair i do all that shit what i said was i don't like to take showers i still take them daily i prefer baths but i take showers daily you know what some people say they don't like to work out but they get their fat ass in the gym and they still work out. A lot of people say they don't like to eat healthy, but they still eat their motherfucking vegetables, bitch. I don't like to take showers. I just don't like it. It's something about like, okay, so I'm really like OCD or whatever. And in any shower that's not at my house, like I like taking showers at my house, but somewhere else, it's usually like the, the crevices of the floor. There's like little dirt. Like, even if you can't see it, there's dirt in the crevices and all on the sides. And it's just a big, like, I just feel like I'm just standing in a big germ-infested fucking cell. And it just, may, it's gross to me. I don't know. So, but as I said, I, I will repeat one more time. I wash my pussy hole, I wash my asshole, and I wash my face and my whole body and my underarms and all that, and all that good shit. I brush my teeth. I do all that shit, all right? Um, and, 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 and another thing, I need you bitches to stop acting like, hey, none of y'all, you, your mommy, your grandmommy, your sister, your motherfucking auntie, everybody, everybody that put their foot up on that sink and wash that pussy. Everybody has. Everybody has. It's called a whole bath. Everybody, especially if you was a stripper. Especially if you was a stripper. So I want you to stop fucking acting bougie like you ain't washed that pussy in the sink. Because I know you have. All of you have. All right, so you guys just saw what she had to say about the whole shower situation. So the reason why I'm doing a video today is because her antics have basically just been compiled one after another. And it's to the point now where I can't ignore and I can't make excuses for Summer Walker. Now, while Summer Walker is doing her thing with her debut album, Over It, um, it's been one of the biggest R&B debut albums of the last 10 years. So a lot of people are feeling like this has gone to this girl's head. She's very rude, very dismissive. They then she came out a few months ago basically stating that she deals with social anxiety, meaning that it's hard for her to deal with the public and, you know, she has anxiety attacks and things like that because of how she was treating her fans at the meet and greet. If you see any pictures of Summer Walker at her meet and greet, she's like literally in the middle acting like she's a shell of herself and her fans are like usually off to the side. She won't allow her fans to touch her or hug her and all types of stuff. So people started calling her out about that and that's when she spoke out about social anxiety and so she made a post on November 3rd and this is basically what she said in the post she says fuck interviews photo shoots videos and really shows so she basically came out saying that she's an empath and that she can't deal with the transfer of energy from certain people so she's basically saying you know fuck interviews photo shoots videos and shows too and she's saying that the transference of energy from that many people each day would literally kill me and then at that point she went on to cancel 20 dates of her tour basically citing that she was you know having anxiety attacks and you know health issues and things like that so a lot of people 
were really pissed off about that. Now, one thing I do find funny about her saying that she suffers from social anxiety is that she was also a stripper in Atlanta. She was a stripper for at least four years. And most people that I know who deal with anxiety, deal with social anxiety and things like that, they really don't want to be around people, let alone taking off their clothes and showing off their body and having people touch them and put money in their G-string. So I'm kind of confused because that's not really the archetype of somebody who has social anxiety. Most social, most people who suffer from social anxiety, they don't even want to leave the house, let alone get up on the stage with all eyes on them, making their ass clap and do all types of stuff. So that's the part that kind of threw me when I found out that she was a stripper because I'm like, well, how does that work with social anxiety? So anyways, that's been a lot of controversy with her tour. And then I had a bunch of people from Toronto DMing me. Honey, y'all was in y'all's feelings and I felt so bad because I know how it is to be dealing with cold weather, okay? Because I'm currently in Minnesota. So what happened is that basically Summer Walker was over three hours late to her Toronto tour. And so people were outside in the cold waiting for her. And then once they got inside, they waited another two hours before she got on stage. And, and then she only performed for 45 minutes. So people were hot. People were really pissed off. They were dragging her on social media. So then she decided to come and basically address that. And then she also decided to drag Wendy Williams because Wendy Williams was talking about her acceptance speech when she went to go get an award um basically her her speech was like just really rushed and she just didn't seem appreciative and people are just kind of tired of her antics so I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary on last night and Summer Walker who we talked about last week she's the one with the anxiety oh and and she said that this will be her last album she's done she's canceled tour dates and the whole bit we talked about that last week. Well, she won Best New Artist. Okay. Okay. And she deserved it. She deserved it. She did that. And here is her acceptance speech. Hi. Um, thank you so much. I didn't expect this. Um, thank you, LBRN. And thank you, London on the track. Um, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Aww. She is so beautiful. Poor thing. Oh, that's sad. So lucky to have such a career that many people want, but not able to get over the social anxiety, which I, a lot of you have. We talked about that before. Um, some people called me out and said, Wendy, you have mentioned being anxious and anxiety filled before the double doors open. Well, you know what? That is a word that I will not use anymore to describe how I feel right there when they're saying live from New York. Because if that is social anxiety, that's not me. Exactly. Like you said, you have anxiety out okay. here at the podium. Right. But not clinical. It's not clinical. Just you know. Meaning you don't need pills and a... Sh exactly. Right. I don't need an IV to come out here. <clears throat> <laughs> and what I mean is, <clears throat> I guess I use the word in the wrong way, being that that word is being, you know, um, to date this particular story, no. Um, but anyway, I, you know, I feel bad for the poor girl. She said that she's not putting out any music. She's really young, like 21 years old. I don't know what she's going to do for money for the rest of her life. But, you know, it, it, apparently this is a real thing. So, you know, I apologize for taking it lightly when I described myself eons ago about coming out. No. Oh, poor girl. No. Okay. I love you, Summer. So, can I even accept an award in peace? When you actually see me get my award and you see how I spoke on the stage, thank you, and then on the check, bitch. Look, I sounded slow. I was scared. I was scared, okay? Everybody else gave a long ass speech. I didn't because I have social anxiety. I was scared as fuck. And um, then everybody decided to say it was an act. Oh, it's an act. It's an act. Bitch, you're dragging it. So this is, I just want to let y'all know, not me, bitch, because I'm living a great life, but this is how people commit suicide okay when people tell you what's literally going on with them and then people still continue to bully them like wendy fucking p williams that bad built bitch i don't even understand how she could ever look in how she looking let me stop um because i ain't come on here to spread negativity i just came here to explain myself um uh, that's what the fuck happened and I'm really tired of y'all, bruh. Because this shit is just... 
this shit just getting wild at this point. This shit is really getting disrespectful. Like, the messages that I've gotten today are so hurtful and so disrespectful. And it's like, nobody even knows what the fuck I be going through. You think, you think artists just motherfucking uh, fall down gracefully from the sky onto the stage? And then they perform, no, bitch, it always be some shit. The makeup lady uh, didn't fucked up. The hair bitch that made you look fucking stupid. The motherfucking wardrobe late. The plane delayed. The fucking everything just always be fuck. No, fuck all that. The reason why y'all, like, I guess that y'all was even late or outside or waiting on me or the situation was late was because Toronto's motherfucking borders, please listen carefully and closely. Toronto's borders are out of this fucking world they held my motherfucking truck up with all my equipment my band equipment my motherfucking that thing in the back of me that be spinning they hold they held all that shit up at the border for mad long that i didn't even know about until today um so bitch how we gonna play a show with with no drums and no fucking mics and no motherfucking guitars and I, see it's out of my motherfucking control but y'all too busy talking about i'm running around second uh drag dick like what the fuck well, i didn't even have we, we didn't even have nothing we didn't have nothing so um and the border is really that strict because all right so you guys just saw what summer walker had to say so let me go ahead and address the wendy williams thing real quick okay now what i find very funny is that summer is saying that you know wendy speaking about her speech could lead her to suicide or could lead other people to suicide because you know wendy is you know basically dismissing her social anxiety but then you lose all credibility summer and you come off like a narcissist when you proceed to then say that wendy williams is bad built you start going in on her looks you start dragging her so to me you come out very hypocritical so wendy can't critique you on how you were speaking on stage but you can go in on her body shape you can go in on her looks okay so by your logic are you not bullying wendy williams by your logic, the words that you and your fans are saying about her, could that not lead her to suicide? Not that Wendy Williams would ever kill herself over, you know, Summer Walker. But I'm just saying, by that logic, you're doing the same thing that you're accusing Wendy Williams of. So to me, that makes me, once again, side-eye your social anxiety, okay? I feel like she comes out very, very combative. And very, very rude. And very dismissive. And she claims to be an empath, coming from someone who myself is an empath, Okay. You're going to meet a lot of people in your walk of life, especially when you're, you know, an influencer, you're on social media, you're a singer, uh, you know, just whatever you do out there in the public eye, okay? I've done several meet and greets. Do not think for once that I'm fooled that everybody who comes to my meet and greet is a genuine fan. Some people are coming because, you know, their cousin dragged them because their cousin is a fan and this person has never heard of me. Other people may be coming just to be nosy, okay? So you will feel different energy from different people. The ones who are your real fans, you will know it. They go hard. They're screaming and, oh, my God, they're quoting everything you say. This tea is piping hot, honey. You know, and it just makes you feel good. You cannot let the fact that maybe one person who's not really a fan or who doesn't even know who the hell you are, they just happen to be there, you can't let that transfer of energy affect the people who are really coming to see you, the ones who are paying good money to see you, who know all the lyrics to your song her using that bullshit excuse as well you know not everybody's energy is good and i don't want that you know that negativity rubbing off on me i don't like that this is not a general meet and greet okay these are people who are paying an additional hundreds of dollars to meet her because i've been backstage with cardi b and i watched her during her meet and greet and these people paid anywhere from a thousand dollars on up to personally meet cardi b and it was about 10 people you're not going to have a lot of people paying that much money those are like the super fans okay it was about 10 i would say at the most 15 people and she treated each and every one of those people with respect the ones who spoke spanish she taught them in spanish like she gave each person an experience and that's how it should be these people are paying extra money to meet summer so nine times out of ten when people are paying extra money most likely they're truly fans okay because you're not going to be a mediocre fan dropping an additional thousand dollars to meet a celebrity you're just not you know what i'm saying nine times out of ten so i feel like that's an excuse especially when i see pictures of her on stage and you have her boyfriend running on the track grabbing her ass you got her taking pictures with drake so it's like well where's the social anxiety 
Okay, now I understand that's her boyfriend, but again, he's touching on her, he's grabbing on her ass in front of thousands of people. That you know, the social anxiety doesn't seem to be there. It seems to only come in when it's convenient. You can take pictures with Drake smiling and showing him all types of love, but you can't do it to your fans who have actually made you who you are. Um, you know, as far as your career, not you as a person, but as far as your career, if it was not for your fans, you wouldn't be where you're at today. So I really feel like Summer's starting to come off narcissistic and she needs a big slice of humble pie. That is my personal opinion. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video particularly is because, again, she's back in the blogs. And I told you guys, if she ends up on the blog one more time, I would make a video on her. Hence why I'm doing this. I told y'all niggas. Y'all thought I was playing, but I told y'all niggas. And unfortunately, with her antics and the way she's acting, it's really making people look, it's really making people give these labels a side eye. Because now it's starting to look like, you know what, you guys are literally giving anybody a record deal just because they're hot on social media. But they don't have the, you know, they don't have the training, they don't have the wherewithal, and they don't have the personality to really be celebrities and to be, you know, mega stars. Because she just doesn't. She just doesn't seem like she really appreciates this. And that's what I was saying on Instagram is there's a whole new crop of celebrities being groomed. And because they're not being groomed within the industry, they're not as appreciative because not anybody can be famous anybody can you know make a name for themselves as long as you have a soundcloud account people are rocking with your music there's no media training there's no humbleness because back in the day you had to strive to be famous and you know you had to meet people you had to network you had to rub shoulders sometimes it took years to get to the level of fame that summer walker is at now in less than a few months okay so a lot of times for many celebrities especially in the 80s and 90s it took years so when they got to that level of fame trust and believe they were humble they took pictures with their fans they did what they had to do you never saw them cussing out their fans showing out you know attacking people it's this new generation that feels like people owe it to them and my thing is if you don't want to be famous and if you don't want the you know everything that comes with fame then you need to just at this point stop because at this point to me you're insulting your fans you're insulting people and you're taking people's support and their kindness for weakness and that's what I don't like because I was really rooting for this young girl she has a lot of hot tracks the fact that she's a guitar player she taught herself the guitar you know from watching YouTube videos I respect that. You know, I respect little nuances like that. But when you're treating people like shit and you're cussing people out and you're acting like people owe you something, you know, at the end of the day, if your anxiety is that bad, this may not be the industry for you. You know, because from what I'm seeing, I feel like her anxiety is something that comes and goes as she sees fit. You know, it's like you have all this anxiety when you're around people, but then on Instagram, you're popping off. And my thing is this, at the end of the day, as a black woman, we all go through anxiety. I have anxiety myself. I go through stuff. But you have to know how to deal with it. You have to know how to push through. She's not going through nothing that 90% of black women are not out here going through, especially if you're from the hood and you deal with, you know, post-traumatic stress you know from just the things that go on in the hood and you deal with you know anxiety and, and you know just living in fear of the police and all types of stuff so she's not going through anything that most people are not going through in America but to me I feel like she's using it as a crutch you know what I'm saying? And she's not really doing anything to, like, fix it. You know, she has money now. She has fame. She can go get counseling. She can go get, you know, therapy. She can go do all types of stuff to get her through this hump. And to me, the fact that she just keeps complaining and trying to, you know, shame people over it and trying to use it as an excuse, to me, just comes off that she's sensitive and she's not really taking her career as seriously as she needs to take it. So at this point, I'm over Summer Walker. You know, y'all can continue to support her and buy her tickets and let her be late and you know talk to y'all crazy that's fine um i i don't support people who don't respect their fans and that's my biggest thing your fans at the end of the day are who made you you are nothing without your fans and when people start feeling like they're up here and their fans are down here at that point i can't fool with you because i'm very big on how people treat the public and if summer walker keeps it up she won't get a dime from me either you know what i'm saying i don't play that shit I, I give my money to people who are worth it who appreciate their fans who treat their fans with respect because at the end of the day nobody i don't care if you're a social media influencer if you're a celebrity a singer a movie star you'd be nothing without the people who support you you'd be nothing without the folks who work their nine to five who bust their ass to buy their music to buy your concert tickets to support you on patreon to just do all types of stuff so you have to remain humble 
humble. You have to treat people like they matter. Now, that's the end of my rant. Y'all Summer Walker fans, y'all getting y'all feelings all you want to, but damn it, I said what the fuck I said. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad, honey. To let me know your thoughts on this whole Summer Walker fiasco. Are you a fan of hers? Do you feel like she's doing too much? Has she turned you off from being a fan? Let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, deuces.